What is up guys, now usually I do a full in-depth review for the majority of the games that I play here on my channel but I decided with GTA 5 I'm just going to give you my thoughts on the game and not like a full in-depth review purely because one, it's taken me so long to play this game um, so kind of everyone's sort of over GTA 5 now but I still wanted to get my thoughts out there um, and two, you've probably all got this game, the, the majority of people did buy this game so you've all got your own thoughts on it and everything but I still need to um, tell you guys what I think of it and overall if it lived up to my hype and everything so um, first of all I, I love the game I think it's a brilliant game definitely the best GTA um, on the current gen so uh, well it's only between that and GTA 4 but still miles ahead of GTA 4 in my opinion um, I love the way the the city was a lot more kind of exciting than GTA 4 you could do a lot more things all the customization was great I think they really did um, kind of strike gold when they decided on the fact to have three main characters I thought that was very good I really really like the fact you can switch between Michael Franklin and Trevor I think it worked really well I managed to um, overall I've put I think uh, just under 40 hours into the game and I've it's really even between each character so I put roughly the same sort of hours for each character in so I'm not kind of favoring one character more than the other it doesn't give you more missions as one character more than the other so um, that was good in, in one sense I think that was a really really good decision by Rockstar to do that and it really did pay off um, I, I really like, like I said, back onto the customization. I think that was brilliant. I like the fact you can actually change what the characters look like and you don't have to stick by what they originally look like when you start the game. And the fact um, there's a lot more choice and um, a depth to the customization you can do on your cars as well. That was very good. So overall, it was a much better Grand Theft Auto experience in the fact that it's a new sort of life, that you live this new life in the form of the game so you can do things how you want make all these decisions that you want to do as opposed to being stuck to one storyline and just being told to kind of play as this character and can't really change too much about them like they did in GTA 4. Now I, I saw an interesting video on IGN a couple of days ago um, uh, last night actually saying that GTA 5 is sort of like a greatest hits of all of Rockstar's previous games and I have to kind of agree with that they've got little bits of all of Rockstar's popular games in there which I think are really good so you've got the very very similar shooting mechanics to Max Payne 3 in GTA 5 then they're more or less the same same controls as well same sort of gun combat same weapons um, the fact that you can slow down time with Michael um, uh, Michael or Trevor I can't remember which one has the slow down time um, kind of enhancement skill um, but yeah that was very similar to Max Payne so I felt kind of instantly familiar in that sense while I was playing it. Um, you've got the hunting style and the open land, vast open landness of Red Dead Redemption. Um, of course, the hunting was very similar in there. Um, of course, it's not a huge feature on GTA 5, but it is still in there, and obviously they've taken that from Red Dead Redemption. But in my opinion, the overall kind of vast open land of the, the Sandy Shores area and the whole um, so sort of countryside was very similar to Red Dead which I did like you've got um, driving mechanics just like in the Midnight Club games you can slow down time as Franklin so you can um, weave in and out between the traffic so that was very good so overall Rockstar did kind of take bits and pieces from the most popular games chuck it all in as one and I think it did work it was a fantastic game um, moving on to the storyline I did like the story in this game I know a lot of people have found it a little bit kind of random that there's different random things happening all the time you can't really focus on the story because it's so chopped up and not really following this um, familiar narrative but I do I, I personally was really kind of involved in the story I really did enjoy it a lot more than I did with GTA 4 story I kind of felt that Michael's story was the main bulk of the game even though we share the same amount of gameplay time as Franklin and Trevor I felt that Michael was the lead focus in this game um, and the story was ultimately revolved around him because that's where we got most of the deep plot sort of things involving Michael so I liked that story in the sense like I said I liked the fact that each character has their own storylines and you can follow them and kind of pursue them as you want and in what kind of order you want to do them in I really liked that. 
Um, and one thing I did really enjoy about this game as well is the heists. There's a lot of focus on sort of heist missions on this game, um, giving you a little bit of choice on how you approach these big bank jobs and kind of um, these big robbery jobs. So how you approach them, which crew members that you hire, um, depending depends on how much money you get, um, how much of let me get this out. How much of the share of the big money you get at the end? So, um, so that depends on what kind of character you choose to do these certain jobs. Um, so that, I like that fact. We've never seen that sort of thing in a GTA game before, so I really liked that as well. Um, moving on to online, I have to say that the online isn't what I expected at all. It's not really my sort of thing. Um, I did get him hyped when I saw the trailer and admittedly when I played it I was let down by it not just because of the graphic um, the glitches and everything that happened the and all the bugs and the delay and everything but once it was fully working for me and I played it it wasn't quite right for me in my opinion I I think I had a much more enjoyable time on Red Dead Redemptions online than I did with GTA 5 I just feel there's a little bit too much for an online game um, online for me I want competitive online I want to go in go into a match and have a team deathmatch facing off against my friends. I don't want to have to live my own life in an online game, buy cars, buy apartments, do all this sort of thing that is a single player experience while in an online world. In my opinion, online should be competitive or cooperative missions, things like that, and it's not easy to do that. You have to literally travel to an area to go and do these sort of things. So in my opinion, it's a bit too much from Rockstar and it I'm not going to be going back to the GTA Online once I've done with the single player. Um, it's not really kept my attention, but I have to admit it's, it's revolutionary. It's something we haven't really seen before in an online game. It's doing something different, and I know it has got its fans, but personally, my opinion, it's not for me. Um, but overall, GTA 5, it was a brilliant game. I loved it from start to finish. It's definitely kind of lived up to my heights. It hasn't exceeded my expectations. It's not better than I thought it would be. It's just as good as I thought it would be, if you know what I mean. It's not kind of the best game I've ever played in my life, not by a long shot, but it is still a solid stellar game, which I'm perfectly happy that I paid full price for. But I haven't decided what my game of the year is yet. That's going to be a separate video, but definitely GTA 5 is a fantastic game and one of the most enjoyable experiences I've had on this current generation so yeah leave your thoughts on gta 5 down below guys thank you for watching my video and i will see you on the next one